In this video, I'm gonna show you the most bang for your buck swing variations. There's six of them. I've put a lot of knowledge, work, and research into this video, and I wanna help you clear up some confusion. Grüezi miteinander, Gregory von Lebesakia, like I mentioned in the beginning. First of all, it's very important to clear up some confusion. When people talk about the swing, they can talk about a different variation, a different movement pattern without sometimes even knowing it, without sometimes even knowing the different styles. And this can lead to confusion. That's something that I see in the kettlebell world because it's such a young tool. We sometimes have misunderstandings, misconceptions. Sometimes we have different understandings or descriptions for exercises. Sometimes we even use different terms to describe a style so clarity is very important that's why I'm using the knowledge that you're getting in this video in our full kettlebell seminar because I want to really clear the fog and make it clear what the most bang for your buck swing variations are so this is a two-part video the first part is focused on the theory and the second part is focused on the practice ladies and gentlemen I hope you got your pins and your pads ready we're about to dive into some theory work now i believe there are six variations you will see some honorable mentions at the end with some explanation why i believe that some of these variants that i'll mention at the end are not worth your time now i also believe there's three features every swing variation consists out of one of these three features and these features are so incredible and so powerful because they will help you understand and clear the confusion the six variations are first the hard style double-handed swing. Second, the hard style single-handed swing. Three, the kettlebell sport single-handed swing. Four, the kettlebell sport hand-to-hand -hand swing. Five, the hybrid hand-to-hand -hand swing. And number six, the hybrid squat pulse swing. I do believe these variations make the most sense because, for example, you rarely see a hard style hand-to-hand -hand swing with heavy weights. It's may be a little bit dangerous to switch the weight unless you're incredibly strong and powerful. And second of all, you probably rarely see a kettlebell sport double-handed swing. Doesn't mean you cannot do it, just means that you won't see it a lot. So probably there won't be a lot of value in this. So let's dive into the three features of the swing. Like I mentioned, every swing consists out of one of these features. Feature number one is the style. And the style is already in the description. So we either have hard style, RKC strong first. We have kettlebell sport. This is the original way of training with kettlebells from the Russians. And that's what athletes do. And then we have the hybrid. Now there's already one confusion that may happen. Most people call kettlebell sport the Russian training or the Russian swing, the Russian way of training or just to use the word Russian. Now you might encounter a confusing problem as soon as you found out that the originator and the guy who brought heart style to the table from Russia into the Western world was Pavel Tsatsulin and he is of Russian descent. Yet these two styles are completely different. And when it comes to the hybrids, you want to understand that these are the guys and the gals that have mastered kettlebell sport and heart style moves and they are combining it into a new form. A feature number two, this is the most important facet, is the movement pattern. This will help you understand how you have to engage in the exercise, what kind of motor units and, and muscle groups you have to activate in order to work properly. You have hinge only, engaging the movement only with your hinge. Hinge with bent knees, engaging the swing with a crisp hinge and with some bent knees, kind of a deadlift style. A hinge with double bent knees, and this is what the sport guys consider the pendulum leg action and then we have a hinge with a full squat feature number three is important and necessary to know because you want to understand what weights do i have to choose in order to work properly with the different swing variations and also not injure yourself and have the most fun we have light weights for females that would be 8 to 12 kilogram for males this would be 12 to 16 kilogram we have moderate weights that would be for females 12 to 20 kilogram 
and for males it would be 16 to 24 kilogram and then we have heavyweights for females that's anything beyond 24 kilogram and for males anything beyond 30 two kilogram now let's check out how these features work with the different variations and you see some common denominators for example let's take a look at the hard style double handed swing now as the name implies the style feature number one is hard style the movement pattern feature number two is you engage the hinge with bent knees feature number three what weights are you using you're using heavy weights that's anything beyond 24 or 32 respectively. When we take a look at the hard style single-handed swing, everything stays the same. The only difference is you only use one arm. And here's another factor that may confuse people. Sometimes it is referred to as the hard style two-arm swing or the hard style one-arm swing, but it means the same. So as you can see, you see there's some confusion happening. So let me clear the fog and give us some sunshine to really understand How's it all going down? Number three is kettlebell sport single-handed swing. Now, like the name implies, it is kettlebell sport style. Feature number two, you use a hinge with double bent knees. This is the so-called pendulum leg action. And you can work the swing with all weight categories because you catch the weight with your quads, you use more muscle groups, and you work softer. That's why sometimes people refer to it as a soft style. So you see, there's another confusion happening. That's why I want to stick to kettlebell sport to this one description because some people refer to it as kirivoy. It's a Russian description. They refer to it as the Russian way of training, Russian style, or they refer to it as the soft style. Now, number four is the kettlebell sport hand-to-hand -hand swing. It's all the same, but as the name implies, as the exercise description implies, is you're switching hands number five this is my favorite i wanted to call it the stark style hands-on -hand swing but hybrid fits a little better but hey you can put an asterisk on it and say this is the stark style <laughs> you engage in the hybrid philosophy so you combine both styles you engage with your hinge only no knees bent or just unlocked but not bent and the weights important they work with light to moderate weights a hybrid hand-to-hand -hand swing where you engage with the hinge only is almost impossible to deliver if you use very heavy weights now of course if you're very strong and massive that's another case but for most people it's impossible to manage because the gravity pull of heavy weight will be so strong that it pulls you down vertically. So what happens if weight pulls you down vertically? You have to start engaging your knees to catch the weight. That's why it's gonna be a bent knee. So that's why light to moderate work best with a hinge only approach that is the hybrid hand-to-hand -hand swing. And the final one is the hybrid squat pole swing. This is a beast of an exercise. It's also a hybrid. You hinge with a full squat and I would use moderate weights. If you use too light weights, it won't work. If you use too heavy weights, it's too dangerous. Now let's talk about the hard style double handed swing. Now I'm having a 24 right here. What I love to do in the setup is the 90-90. You got your feet right straight in front of your bell. Point them outside, point them back, and then I make a little jump, boom. That's the perfect triangle position to set up the weight. I grab it with both hands. As soon as I grab it, I tilt the bell towards me and I make sure that my lats are engaged by depressing the shoulder blades. I want to imagine, I want to press the shoulder blades downwards to my hip. And then I'm ready. So as you can see, I'm using a lot of tension. Once I'm on top, boom, fully contracting my interior chain. The engineer out. These shear forces on my spine that are coming from my posterior chain. Forearms are flexed a little bit because my lats are still tight, because my lats are attached to my bone of my upper arm, down to my hip. So what happens in the forearm is not as important. However, if you keep the weight out in front of you like this, fully extended arm, you're pulling the weight outside your center of mass even more than if you got them unlocked a little bit. Now you may want this. You may want to work against that gravity pull. However, if you work with very heavy weights, you have to be careful. Number two, heart style single-handed swing. Same thing, the proper setup is important. 
grabbing the bell, lats are engaged, tilting the bell towards me, and now I'm ready. And what I find with the single-handed hard style swing is that my knee bend is even a little bit stronger because I'm only working with one arm. And when you look at the pros, for example, Luca, when he swings to 48 or 52, I think even heavier weights, and you see him flexing his knees a little bit stronger. Number three, kettlebell sport, single-handed swing. This pendulum leg action. And you can maybe just drill this down by just giving it a shot without any weight. So the bell drops, bend, extend, bend, extend, bend, extend, bend, extend. I got the same setup as in the hard style. Kettlebells in front of me, triangle position, so I don't waste the first rep. Ready to start, let's go. So what you can imagine is you're catching the weight with your quads first. So here we go with the 32. Check this out. That's the power of the kettlebell sports swing being able to use all weight categories. Variation number four, kettlebell sport, hand-to-hand -hand swing. Almost the same thing, the setup, duck, duck, boom. Triangle ready position, let's do it. And did you see what I did there? Sometimes you can rock back and forth on your heels and toes. However, this is an advanced technique that you will sometimes see, especially in the snatch. Exercise number five, the hybrid hand-to-hand -hand swing. Now, feature number one, it is the hybrid mixture between heart style and kettlebell sport. Setup is the same thing. And now what I love to do it's something that I borrowed from the heart style and I kind of developed my own ideology is brace to break. Now we know we have a lot of acceleration coming from behind, especially when we work with heavier weights in the heart style. But in the hand-to-hand -hand swing with the hybrid, it's the same thing. A lot of acceleration is coming. So once the kettlebells are on top, the anterior chain has to brace to break the system or to break the energy, right? Like a car, you have to Put your foot on the gas and on the brakes and that's what your anterior chain your abdominals quads are for check this out we have the same setup position and now with the handle you can grab whatever you want uh, sometimes i just prefer the back grip but you can also have a front grip so let's do both switch and grip And there's a very important note in the hybrid hand-to-hand -hand swing, as well as in the kettlebell sports swing. Maybe your upper body is in a slightly kyphotic position, and that's totally fine as long as you don't exaggerate it. Very important is that your lower body is safe. And if your shoulder leans back a little, it's behind your hip joint, slightly kyphotic, that's totally fine. I want you to learn the front grip because I want you to learn what it feels like how the kettlebell is supposed to feel inside of your grip that's very important when you advance to the clean and the snatch number six the hybrid squat pull swing I coined this term because squat swing may be confusing and squat pulls will tell you what it looks like. Because what we do is we engage with the kettlebell, backswing in the hinge, and then once the kettlebell is on top, 
We are not upright. We are in a full squat position. The kettlebell in front of me is making sure that I don't fall backwards. And then I'm coming back in a hinge, in a squat, in a hinge. Setup is the same thing. I just love that 90-90 idea. Ready? A beast of a swing. So here goes the honorable mentions, the exercises or the swing variations that I don't think make a lot of sense or are worth your time. First of all is the ski swing. Why do I think it's not worth your time? Because it triggers arm dominant behavior and we want to work with the hips. Exercise number two, I'm not gonna show you to you because it's gonna be difficult for my shoulder. It's called the American swing. Kettlebells in the back swing. It's coming up and then you pull it up. Essentially what you do is when you put the kettlebell in the top fixation, your arms are locked, they cannot move. So your shoulders internally rotating and it's flexing. And depending on the space you have and your shoulder joint, it may put the whole joint, the arm, the bursa, the muscles, the tendons, the ligaments in a difficult position. That's why I don't advise it. And the last one is the squat swing. This is the variation where you engage in a full squat. You start like this and then you go down in a full squat. And this is not the squat. Pulse, that's why I'm calling it pulse. This is just engaging in the full squat when you're in the bottom position. Now, some coaches say that it may be detrimental for your lower back. I don't see this because once your hip is extended and the arms in front of you, you're exactly in the same position as if you would do any other swing. So I don't see it, but maybe I'm seeing something wrong and I'm open for discussion. And the reason why I don't think you have to do it is because it's redundant. If you start engaging with the kettlebell sport swing, doesn't matter if it's hand to hand or single hand, then you are already engaging your quads a little bit more. And additionally, if you go into a full squat in the bottom position, your hands are not getting the ballistic loading, which makes the swing so unique. On a final note, like I mentioned in the beginning, it's important to hammer this point home because I hear people in the comment section say, well, I can do this, so no matter what. Yes, you can do these exercises. Just because I'm telling you I don't think they're worth your salt doesn't mean that you cannot do it. But just because we can do it doesn't mean that we're supposed to do it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like it. Consider subscribing if you want to see more kettlebell content. And if you're looking for a kettlebell program that builds you up from a beginner to a slowly advanced trainee in the course of about three months, and you maybe want to combine it with some easy to follow nutrition coaching, because maybe you want to lose weight or you want to get in shape, then check out 90 Days of Kettlebells. You'll find the link in the description. 14-day free trial included.